Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. And for those of you who are who are new, welcome to my channel. My name is Rebecca Gardner, and welcome back to another episode of Read Along With Me. So for today's episode, we're going to be reading six chapters. Uh, last episode, we read four chapters. Um, basically what happened... Last episode. Uh, sorry, you guys. I I have a terrible memory. <laughs> oh yeah. So Melinda just thinks of her thinks of her life as a TV show. And she thinks of it as Oprah was talking to her. And all these women are talking to her about speaking up and how the the assault was really not her fault. Um, but for today's episode, it's going to be really exciting because we're going to be spilling the juice of Melinda's biggest secret. So that's pretty exciting. So let's get right in. Let's get right into it. The yearbooks have arrived. Everyone seems to understand this ritual but me. You hunt, you hunt down every person who looks vaguely familiar and get them to write in your yearbook that the two of you are best friends. And you'll never forget each other and remember this class and have a great summer, stay sweet. I watched some kids ask the cafeteria ladies to sign their yearbook yearbooks. What do they what do they write? Hope your chicken patties never bleed, or maybe may your jello always wig wiggle. <laughs> the cheerleaders have obtained some sort of special exemption. To roam all roam the hall in a pack of in a pack with pens in hand to seek out autographs of staff and students. I catch a whiff of competitive juices when they float past me. They are counting signatures. The appearance of the yearbook clears up another high school mystery while all the popular girls had put up with the disgusting habits of Todd Ryder. He is a pig, greasy, sleazy, foul-mouthed, foul and unwashed. He'll make a great, he'll make a great addition to a, to a state college fraternity. But the popular kids kiss up on, kiss up to him all year. Why? Todd Ryder is the yearbook photographer. Flip through the pages and see who is in his favor. Be nice to Todd, and he'll pick, take pictures of the of you that that should have that should have, have a modeling a, a agency calling your house any day now. Snub Todd, and you'll and you'll and you'll like like look like a trailer park refugee having a bad hair day. If I ran a high school, I would include stuff like this in the first in the first um, in the first day indoctrination. I hadn't I hadn't understood the power of Todd. He snapped me he snapped one picture of me walking away from the camera wearing my dumpy winter coat, my shoulders up around my ears. I will not be I will not be buying a yearbook. Hair woman got a buzz cut. Buzz cut. Her hair is is half an inch long. A new crop of head of head fur. Short and spiky. It's black, no fake orange at all. She and she got new glasses. Purple rimmed bifocals that hang from a bit beaded chain. I didn't know what caused this. 
Has she fallen in love? Did she get a divorce? Move out of her parents' basement? Move out of her pa parents' basement? You never think about her par- You don't- You never think about teachers having parents, but they must. Some kids say- Some kids say they- She did it to confuse- Confuse us while we're working on our final essay. I'm not sure. We have a choice. We can write about symbolism in the comics, or how story changed my life. I think something else is going on. I'm thinking she found a good shrink, or maybe she published that novel, novel she's been writing since the earth cooled. I wonder if she'll be teaching summer school. Evie is sitting at my art table with four uncapped with four uncapped colored pen, colored markers sticking out of her bun. I stand up. She turns her head and bingo, I've got a rainbow on my shirt. She apologizes she apologizes a hundred a hundred million times. If it were some if it were anyone else I would figure they did it on purpose. But Ivy and but Ivy and me have sort sort of been friendly in the last few weeks. I don't think she was trying to be mean. Mr. Freeman lets me go to the bathroom where I try to scrub the re scrub the stains. I must I must look like a dog chasing its tail, twisting and twirling, trying to see the stains on, on the back on on my back in the mirror. The door the door swings open. It's Ivy. I raise my hand and she opens her mouth. Don't say it anymore. I know you're sorry. It was an accident. She points to... Don't say it anymore. I know you're sorry. It was an accident. She points to the pens to still, still stuck in her bun. I put the caps on. Mr. Freeman told, told me. Then he sent me in here to see how you're doing. He's worried about me? He wants to make sure you don't pull a disappearing act. You have been known to wander off. Not in the middle of class. There's a first time for everything. Go in the stall and hand over your shirt. You can't wash it while you're wearing it. I think Principal Principal should have his office in the restroom. Maybe then he'll he'd fire somebody to keep it clean, or an arm an armed guard guard to stop people from plugging up the toilet, smoking, or writing on the walls. Who is Ele Who is Alexandra? I ask. I don't know any Al Alexandras. Ivy's voice says above the rush of the water in the sink. There might be an Alec Al Alexandra in the 10th grade. In 10th grade? Why? According to this, she has pissed off a whole bunch of people. One person wrote in huge letters that she's a whore and all those and all these others and all these others added on added on little details. She slept with this guy. She slept with that guy. She she slept with those guys. All at the same time. For a 10th grader, she sure gets around. Ivy doesn't answer. I peer through the crack between the door and the, and the wall. She opens the soap container and dips my shirt in it. Then she scrubs the stains. I shiver. I'm standing in a... I'm standing in a bra, not a terribly clean bra, and it was freezing in here. Ivy holds the shirt up and up to the light, frowns and scrubs some more. I want to take a I want to take a deep breath, but it smells too bad. Remember what you said about Andy Evans being big trouble? Yeah. Why did you say that? She rinses the soap from the shirt. He has such a reputation. He's only after one thing. 
And if you believe the rumors, he'll get it, no matter what. She wrings the water out of the shirt. The sound of dripping water echoes off the tiles. Rachel is going out with him, I say. I know. Just, just add that to the list of stupid things she's done this year. What does, what does she say about him? We don't really talk, I say. She's an idiot, that's what, she's an idiot, that's what you mean. She thinks she's, she's too, too, <laughs> she thinks she's too good for the rest of us. Abby punches the silver, the silver button on the hand of, on the hand dryer and holds up the shirt. I reread the gratu graffiti. I love Derek. Mr. Neck bites. I hate this place. Syracuse rocks. Syracuse sucks. List of hotties. List of jerks. List of ski resorts in Colorado everyone dreams about. Phone numbers that have been scratched out with keys. Entire conversation scroll down the bathroom stall. It's like a community chat room. A metal, a metal dis, a metal newspaper. I ask Ivy to hand over one of her pens. She does. I think you're going to have to bleach this thing, she says, and hands over the shirt as well. I pull it over my head. My, I pull it over my head. It's, it's still damp. What do you want the mark? What do you want? What did you want? What did you want the marker for? I hold the cap in my mouth. I start another subject thread on the wall. Guys to stay away from. The first entry. The first entry is the beast himself, Andy Evans. I swing open the door with a flourish. Ta-da! I point to my handiwork. Ivy grins. The climax of mating season is nearly upon us. The senior prom. They should cancel school this week. The only things we're learning are who is going with who, whom must ask hair, must ask hair woman, who bought a dress in Manhattan, which li which limo comp company won't tell you to drink, the the most expensive tech took place and on and on and on. The gossip energy alone could power the building's electricity for the rest of the marking period. The teachers are pissed. Kids are kids aren't handing in homework because they have appointments at the tanning salon. Andy Beast asked Rachel to go with him. I can't believe her mother is letting her go, but maybe she agreed because they're going to double with to double with Rachel's brother and his date. Rachel is one of the rare ninth graders invited to his, to the senior prom. Her social stock has soared. She she must not have gotten gotten my note, or maybe she decided to ignore it. Maybe she showed it to Andy and they had a good laugh. Maybe she won't get in the trouble I did. Maybe he'll listen to her. Maybe I had better stop thinking about it before I go nuts. Heather has some belly has some belly cra belly crawling for help. My mother can't be my my mother can't believe it. A living, breathing friend on the front porch of her maladjusted daughter. I I pry Heather out of mom's claws and we tr and we retreat to my room. My stuffed rabbit, my stuffed rabbits crawl out of their burrows. Nose wiggling, a wiggling pink bunny, purple bunny, purple bunny, a gingham bunny with my grandma. From my grandma. They are as excited as my mother. Company. I can, I can see the room through Heather's green tinted contacts. She doesn't say anything. But I, but I know she thinks it looks stupid. A baby room. All, all those tiny rabbits. There must be a hundred of them. Heather knocks on the door. 
She has cookies for us. I want to ask if she's feeling sick. I hand the bag to Heather. She takes one cookie and nibbles at its, ed at its edges. I snore five just to, just to spite her. I lie on my bed, trapping the bunnies next to the wall. Heather de delicate, delicately pushes the pile of dirty clothes off my chair and perches her skinny butt in, on it. I wait. She launches into a sob story about how much she hates being a Martha drone. Indentured servitude would be much better. Would be better. They're just taking advantage of her, bossing her around. Her grades are all the way down to B's because the time she has spent waiting for her for her senior Martha's. Her father is thinking about taking a job in Dallas, and she wouldn't mind moving again. Nope, not one bit. Because she's heard kids in the South aren't as stuck up as, as they are here. I eat more cookies. I'm fighting the shock of the shock of having a guest in my room. I'm I almost kick her out because it's going to hurt too much when my when my room is empty again. Heather says says I was smart. So smart, Mel, to blow this to blow off this stupid group. This whole year has been horrible. I hit it every single day. But I didn't have the guts to get out like you did. She completely she completely ignores the facts, the fact that I was never in, and she dumped and sh and that she dumped me, banished, and that she dumped me, banished me from the sh from even the shadows of Mar of Martha Glory. I feel like. Any minute, a guy in a lavender suit will burst into the room with a microphone and bellow. Another alternate, alternate, alternate reality moment brought to you by adolescence. I can't still, I still can't figure out why she's here. She licks a crumb of her cookie and gets to the point. She and the... Other junior Marthas are required to decorate the Route Route Eleven, the Route Eleven Holiday Inn ballroom for the prom. Meg and Emily and Sarah Bond can't resist, can't assist. Of course, they have to get their nails painted and their teeth whitened. The privileged, the few, the the junior Marthas have been laid waste by monoculus leaving Heather by all all by herself. She is desperate. You have to decorate the whole you have to decorate the whole thing by Saturday night. Actually we we can't start until three o'clock Saturday afternoon because of, of some stupid meeting of Chrysler salesman. But I know we can do it. I'm asking other kids too. Do you want anyone who do you know anyone who could help? Frankly, no, I don't. But I chew and try to look thoughtful. Heather take takes this to to mean that yes, I'd probably help. Be happy. I'd be happy to help her. She bounces out the chair. I knew you would help. You're great. Tell you what, I I owe you. I you I owe you a big one. How about next week? I come over and help you redecorate. Redecorate. Didn't you tell me once how you how much you hated your room? Well, now I see why. It would be so depressing just to wake up here every morning. We'll clear out all this junk. She kicks the Chanel, the Chanel, the Chanel bunny who was sleeping in my robe on the floor. And get rid of those curtains. Maybe you could go shopping with me. Can you get... Your mom's American American Express. She yanks my curtain to one side. Curtains to one side. Let's not let's not forget to wash those windows. See foam and see foam green and sage. That's what that's what you should look for. 
classic and feminine. No. You want something richer, like an eggplant or cobalt. No, I haven't decided on color colors yet. That's not what I mean. I mean, no, I won't help you. She claps into the chair again. You have to help me. No, I don't. But why? I bite my lip. Does she want to know the truth? That's that she's self, self-centered self and cold? That I hope all the senior... That I hope all the seniors yell at her? That I hate sea foam green and beside... And besides, it's none of her business if my windows are dirty. I feel tiny button. I feel tiny buttons noses up against my my back. Bunny say to be kind. Lie. I have plans. The tree guy is coming to coming to work on the on the oak out front. I have to dig in my garden. And besides, I know what I want to do in here. And it, and, and it doesn't, in, it doesn't include eggplant. Most of it is half true, half planned. Heather scowled, scowls. I open the dirty window to let in fresh air. It brushes my hair back off my face. I tell Heather she has to leave. I, I need, I need to clean. She crams her cookie in her mouth and does not say goodbye to my mother. What is not? Are you guys ready for this? Because this is the juice that we've waited for. Here we go. I'm on a roll. I'm rocking. I don't know what what it is. Standing up to Heather, painting marigold seeds, or maybe the look on Mom's face when I when I asked if that, if she could let me redecorate my room. The time has come to arm wrestle some demons. Too, too much sun after Syracuse winter does strange things to does strange things to your head. Makes you feel strong, even if you aren't. I must talk to Rachel. I can't do it in algebra and the beast waits for her outside for for her outside English. But we have but we have study hall at the same time. Bingo. I find her squinting at at a book with with small type in the library. She's too vain for glasses. I ins- I instruct my heart not to bolt down the hall and sit next to her. No nu- nuclear bombs detonate. A good start. She looks at me without expression. I try on a smile, size medium. Hi. Hey, I say. Hmm. She responds. No, no lip curling. No, no rude gest- hand gestures. So far, so good. I look at the book. She's copying word for word from. It's about France. Homework. Kind of. She taps her pencil on the table. I'm going to France this summer in the with the international club. We have to do a report to prove we're serious. That's great. I mean, you've always talked about how talked about traveling ever since we were kids. Remember remember when we were in 4th grade and we read Heidi and we tried to melt cheese in your fireplace? We laugh a l- little too loudly. It's not really that funny, but we're both ner- nervous. A library, a librarian points his finger at us. Bad students, bad bad students. No, la- no laughing. I look at, I look at her notes. They are lousy. A few facts about Par- Paris decorated with an Eiffel Tower, do- an, a- an Eiffel Tower doodle, hearts and the initials R B and A E Gak. So you're really going out with him? With Andy, I heard about the prom. Rachel grins, honey slow. She stretches, like the mention of his name wakes her muscles and makes her tummy jump. He's great, she says. He's just so awesome and gorgeous and yummy. 
She stops. She is talking to the village leper. What are you going to do when he goes to college? Or, or an arrow, an arrow to her soft spot. Cloud cr across the clouds across the sun. I can't think about it. It hurts too much. He said he was going to let his parents to to get his parents to let him transfer back here. He could go to La Salle or Syracuse. I'll wait for him. Give me a break. You've been going out for like what two two weeks? Three? A cold front blows across the library. She straightens up and snaps shut the cover of her book, of her notebook. What do you want anyway? Before I can answer, the librarian pounces. We are welcome to continue our conversation in the principal's office, or we can stay and be quiet. Our choice. I take out my notebook and write to journal to write and write to Rachel. It's nice to talk to you again. I'm sorry we we can be friends this year. I pass the notebook to her. She melts a bit around the the edges and rides back. Yeah, I know. So who do you like? No one really. My lab partner is kind of nice, but like a friend, friend, not a boyfriend or anything. Rachel nods wisely. She's dating a senior. She is so beyond these freshman friend friend relationships. She is in charge again. Time for me to suck up. Are you still mad at? Are you still mad at me? All right. She doodles a quick lightning bolt. No, I guess not. It was a long time ago. She stops and draws a spiraling, a spiraling circle. I stand in the, I stand on the edge and wonder if I'm going to fall in. The party was a little wild. She continues, but it was dumb to call the cops. We could have just left. She slides the notebook over to me. I draw a spiraling, spiraling circle in the opposite of Ra the opposite deck direction of Rachel's. I could have, I could leave it like this. Stop in the middle of the highway. She is talking to me again. All I have to do is keep the dirt hidden and walk. I'm on a roll. I'm rocking. I don't know what it is. Standing up to Heather, planning marigold seeds or maybe the look on mom's face when I asked if she would let me redecorate my room. The time has come to arm wrestle some demons. Too much sun after a Syracuse winter does strange things to your head. It makes you feel strong even if you aren't. I must talk to Rachel. I can't do it in algebra and the beast waits for her outside of outside English. But we have study hall at the same time. Bingo. I find her squinting out a book with small type in the library. She's too vain for glasses. I instruct my heart not to bolt down the hall and exit to next to, and sit next to her. No, no nuclear bombs detonate. A good start. She looks at me without expression. I try on a smile. Size medium. Hey. Hmm. She responds, no lip curling, no rude hand gestures. So far, so good. I look at the book she's copying word for word from. It's about France. Homework? Kind of. She taps, she taps her, her pencil on the table. I'm going to France this summer with the International Club. We have to do a report to prove we're si serious. That's great. I mean, you've always talked about traveling ever since we were kids. Remember when we were in fourth grade and we read Heidi and we tried melt to melt the cheese in your fireplace? We flat we laughed a little too loudly, but it really it, but it's not really that funny. But we're both nervous. The, a librarian points his finger at his at us. Bad students. Bad, bad students. No laughing. I look at her notes. They are lousy. A few facts about Paris 
decorated with Eiffel Tower doodle arts, hearts in the initials R B and A E Gak. So you're really going out with him, with Andy. I heard about the prom. Rachel grins slowly, slow, honey, slow. She stretches, stretches like the mention of his name wakes her muscles and makes her belly jump. He's great, she says. He's just so awesome and gorgeous and yummy. She stops. She's talking to the village leper. What are you going to do when he leaves, when he goes to college? Arg, an, an arrow to her soft spot. Clouds clouds across the sun. I can't think about it. It hurts too much. He said he was going to get his parents to let him transfer back here. He would go to La, to La Salle for, or Syracuse. I'll wait for him. Give me a break. You've been going out for like, what, two weeks? Three? A cold front blows a across the library. She straightens up and snaps the cover of her notebook. What do you want anyway? Before I can answer, the librarian pounces. We are welcome to continue our conversation in the principal's office, or we can be stay and be quiet. Our choice. I take out my notebook and write to Rachel. It's nice talking to, to you again. I'm sorry we couldn't be friends this year. I pass the notebook to her. She melts a bit around the edges and writes back. Yeah, I know. So who do you li so who do you like? No one really. My lab partner is kind of nice, but like a friend friend, not a boyfriend or anything. Rachel nods wisely. She's dating a senior, so beyond these freshman friend friend relationships. She's she's in charge and again. Time for me to suck up. Are you still mad at me? I write. She doodles a quick lightning bolt. No, I guess not. It was a long time ago. She stops and draws a spiraling circle. I stand on the edge and wonder if I'm going to fall in. The party was a little wild, she continues, but it was dumb to call the cops. We could have just left. She slides the notebook over to me. I draw a spir spiraling circle in the opposite direction of cir to, cir to Rachel's. I couldn't leave it like this. Stop in the middle of the highway. She's talking to me again. All I have to do is keep the dirt hidden and walk arm in arm in with her into the sunset. She reaches back to her hair scrunchie. R B and A E is written in red pen on the inside of her forearm. Breathe in one, two, three. Breathe out one, two, three. I force my hand to relax. I didn't call the cops to break up the party, I write. I called I put the pencil down. I pick it up again. Then because some guy raped me under the trees. I didn't know what to do. She watches as I carve out the words. She leans closer to me. I write more. I was stupid and drunk, and I didn't know what was happening when he hurt. I scribble that out. Raped me. When the police came, everyone was screaming, and I was just too scared, so I cut through some backyards and walked home. I push the notebook back to her. She stares at the words. She pulls her chair around my side of the table. Oh my gosh, I am so sorry, she writes. Why didn't you tell me? I couldn't tell anybody. Does your mom know? I shake my head. Tears pop up from some hidden spring. Dang. Dang. I sniff my... Dang. I sniff my... I sniff and wipe my eyes on my, on my sleeve. Did you get pregnant? Did he have a, did he have a disease? Oh my gosh, are you okay? No, I don't think so. Yes, I'm okay. Well, kinda. She writes in a heavy, fast hand. Who did it? I turn the page. 
Liar! She stumbles out of her chair and grabs her books off the table. I can't believe you! You're jealous! You're a twisted little freak, and you're jealous that I'm popular, and I'm going to the prom, and you, and so you lied to me like this. You sent me that note, didn't you? You are so sick. She spins to take on the librarian. I'm going to the nurse, she states. I think I'm going to throw up. I'm standing in the lobby, looking at the buses. I don't want to go home. I don't want to stay here. I got my hopes ha halfway through the hopes up halfway through the conversation with Rachel. That was my mistake. It was like smelling a, the perfect Christmas feast and having the door slammed in your face, leaving you alone in the cold. Melinda, I hear my name. Great, now I'm hear hearing things. Maybe I should ask the guidance counselor for a therapist or a nosy shrink. I don't say anything and I feel awful. I tell somebody and I feel worse. I'm having trouble finding a middle ground. Someone touches my arm gently. Melinda, it's Ivy. Can you, ta can you take the light bus? I want to show you something. We walk together. She leads me to the bathroom, the one where she washed my shirt, which, by the way, still has traces of her markers, even after the bleach. She points to the stall. Take a look. Guys to stay away from. Andy Evans. He's a creep. He's a bastard. Stay away. He should be locked up. He's all... He thinks he's all that. Call the cops. What's the name of that drug they gave pervert, perverts so they can't get it, get it up? Dispro something. He should get it in every. He should get it every morning in his in his orange juice. I went. To, I went out with him to the movies. We tried to get. He tried to get his hands down my pants during the previews. There's more. Different pens, different handwriting, conversations between some writers, arrows to longer paragraphs. It's better than taking out a bill a billboard. I feel like I can fly. So what we're seeing here is that everyone is finally on Melinda's side. Because, like, if you think about it, um, someone... So maybe Rachel might have told everyone what Andy did, and everybody was like, oh, no, he didn't. Like, if you think about it, rape is a horrible thing for anyone to go through. But when Melinda told Rachel about it, like, man, I, I'll bet that she was feeling good about it. I mean, she kind of feels bad because she, because Rachel was really mad at her because she didn't believe her. Um, but I'll, I'll bet that it feels good to talk about it, you know? And when And, yeah, um, so my, so my discussion question for today is, um, if you could, um, if you could write, if you could add anything, um, about Andy, let me know in the comments below, because I think... What I would add about Andy is that he um, he is such an idiot, like, and don't date him. <laughs> um, yeah. And, but, like, now we see why Melinda calls 
him it because like she does not um want anyone to know what his rep reputation is and also that's why she called him beast because he really is a beast and what he did was so beasty so yeah Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this series, and I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Um, if you do, give it a thumbs up, and yeah, start the discussion in the comments, and let me know if you guys have any questions, and make sure you subscribe to my channel if you guys are new here, and click on the bell so that you guys will get notifications to new episodes and the season is coming to an end so make sure you catch up if you're behind and yeah uh i hope you guys enjoyed this video remember to stay happy stay safe and stay cool and i am off to the moon and i will be back soon